The nightmare has returned. You know, we thought Bray Wyatt had controlled this part of his psyche, but we were wrong. The Fiend is back. This entity known as the Fiend has seemingly become invulnerable. A two-time Universal Champion. I challenge you to find anyone in the business with more effective mind games than the Fiend. The Fireflies remain, but this version of Bray Wyatt is completely detached from the WWE Universe. And that makes him even scarier because The Fiend will stop at nothing in his quest to spread fear throughout the WWE Universe. An absolute master of mind games, almost impervious to pain, nothing can stop The Fiend. There are cruel intentions on the face of the demon. I've followed Finn Balor's career for many years. I've gotten to know the man well. But believe me when I say, I see someone completely different tonight in the demon. Hey, the WWE Universe is well aware that they are seeing something extremely special here tonight.
There's been some discussion about what exactly a no-holds-barred match means. Corey, what's your take on it? Just a fancy way of saying you can do whatever the hell you want. As long as you pin or submit the other competitor in the ring, go nuts, which is exactly what I predict these superstars will be doing momentarily. Vicious right forearm. And it seems like you have to be at least a little sadistic to be victorious in an ODQ match. Oh, come on, Cole. It's not about being sadistic. It's about being smart. There's no safety net and no disqualification match, and that's a big factor in succeeding. There's nothing sadistic about it. Put into the corner now. Oh. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. Determination in his eyes, and now a kendo stick in his hands. That'll turn your lights out. Finn is not showing a single shred of doubt right now. Ah, oh, and that surprises the Fiend. Big cross body. Drop kick right to the patella. Unleashed on the knee, and that might drastically slow things down. Sends the opponent to the outside. Here we go. Watch out! Paying it right back with a reversal. Oh, my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. And an elbow drop, too. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Finn Balor has his sights set solely on his opponent now. Look out! Setting foot in the ring now. Oh no! Face, meat floor. I think I see a few teeth on the floor. Just a dominant display. Big power slam. Off into the pin. He kicks out with authority. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Hung across the top rope. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Stop in the leg. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Bringing the steel chair into play here. Pulled back into the hip toss. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective. Oh, taking it right to him. No way to tough position to be caught in here. Some intimidation tactics from the Fiend. He steps foot in the ring again. Strong suplex. And it's Balor, who looks like he's a little worse for wear after that hit. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Completely steamrolled. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. What a truly merciless act by The Fiend. Looking to absolutely annihilate his victim. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. And this one might be headed ringside. And now with him going for the table, we're just in straight up appetite for destruction territory here. Getting back into the ring. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. The Fiend got it. The Fiend celebrating his win here.
The inevitable has once again come to pass. The Fiend got what he wanted. And I shudder.